Senator J.D. Vance, running alongside Donald Trump as his vice presidential nominee, has recently sparked debate by strongly defending Trump's proposition to potentially deploy the U.S. military domestically against certain groups. In a series of interviews, Vance explained that Trump's warnings about an enemy from within refer to what they see as violent far-left groups, not ordinary Americans or Democratic politicians. Even though Trump has previously named public figures like Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff in such comments. Vance's interpretation aims to clarify that Trump's intentions are focused on maintaining order rather than targeting political opposition directly, positioning Trump as a law and order candidate amidst rising political polarization. Despite these explanations, Vance's defense has not quelled widespread concerns from both Democrats and Republicans about Trump's increasingly authoritarian rhetoric. Notably, former Trump Chief of Staff John Kelly, a retired four-star Marine general, has openly cautioned that Trump's demands for loyalty and his dismissal of certain Democratic norms reveal a concerning shift toward authoritarianism. Vance responded sharply, labeling Kelly and other critics as warmongers suggesting that many within the Republican establishment favor unnecessary military interventions and do not share Trump's supposed preference for peace. This theme of prioritizing domestic stability over foreign intervention has become a cornerstone of Vance's messaging. He argued that internal threats posed by left-wing extremists surpass those posed by foreign adversaries like Russia or China. While Vance condemned Russian President Vladimir Putin's actions, he described Russia as a competitor rather than an outright enemy, in alignment with Trump's relatively conciliatory stance toward Moscow. Vance's stance on these issues illustrates the sharp ideological divides in the Republican Party, where Trump's brand of populist nationalism continues to overshadow traditional GOP defense and foreign policy norms presenting Americans with a stark choice on security and governance as the 2024 election approaches.